hey this is Tafs. welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you how you can add another website to your hosting account so if you have invested in an hosting account and you have a premium web hosting not a single web hosting you will have the option to add additional website to your to your account uh you would see if you scroll down here that every other plan aside from the single web hosting give you access to up to a hundred websites on your account that's why my advice is always for people to invest in a premium web hosting that gives you access to hard for the account so if you have done that you can come back to your account here you, you would see your existing website all you have to do is to hit this drop down arrow here and you see an option here for you to add your website and here you get this question what type of website do you want to create you may want to tell them an online store but for me i just go for other uh, do you want to create a website or you want to migrate an existing website uh, if you want to create a new website you can just say skip and just uh, add an empty account but i just want to create a new account for the sake of this tutorial do you want to install wordpress or you want to use hostinger builder that now has a high I think I'll do a video around that for me to check out that platform. I've not checked that out. That might just be uh, the next video I will be uploading. I can't tell, but I will definitely uh, check on that hosting builder and do a review about that. So check out for that. So if you want to see that, make sure you stay subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on that video. And then for the sake of this tutorial, yes, I want to do WordPress, but if you want to do any other platform, you can just hit the select and just uh, install any other software you want to but for the sake of this tutorial let's do wordpress uh, so i have my language as english language administrator email here correct and then i just have to put in my administrator password so i'll do that shortly uh, you want to pay attention to having an encrypted password because if you don't do that if you don't have all these things here you have this green tick for you to continue so you want to make sure you have a secured password so once you have done that you can just hit the continue button and then the Osinga will ask you if they want to add all this plugin to your website it's a no for me personally uh which do you prefer they want you to install a team in case you are you like what you see there that's fine you can go for that for the sake of this tutorial i would skip that and this is where you can claim a free domain if you have that in your hosting account if you have not used it if you are setting up an hosting account like this you always have access to a free domain if you have used that on your initial account you will not have this option anymore you can buy a domain or use an existing domain uh, for the sake of this tutorial i would use an existing domain and then i have to tell them this domain i'll be using bestcashcenter.com is a domain i own already and then i will just hit the continue button uh Ostinga have been able to see that i registered this domain with dynadot and this is the expiration date and this is the existing name servers as so as you can see i already added these name servers to this hosting account so if you have not done that all you have to do is to copy these name servers it may not be here exactly but hosting will let you know that this is the hosting name server so you have to copy it and then go to your hosting provider and update your name servers i want to believe it's something very easy to do uh, regardless of the domain provider you are using it's the same process so if you can't find a place for name servers around that domain you may want to cost you may want to contact your domain provider to assist you change that name server so that's it for you if you are using a domain registered outside if you are buying a domain from hostinger you will need to update your name servers but buying a domain from hostinger is a lot expensive than trying to buy it from domain providers that are specialized in providing domain services like dynadot.com i find that platform extremely uh secured and cheap i can secure a domain name for as low as ten dollars sometimes uh, sometimes even when there are good deals i get a cheaper price than ten dollars you may want to check dynadot.com but if you are somebody who prefers to have everything in one space then why not buy it from hostinger directly but you just have to spend the little box extra so that's it uh, once you are done with that you can just hit the continue button if you have updated your name servers immediately that is done you see that wordpress is already installing on this new 
website so you give this some time uh, this will complete in a few seconds from now so let's just watch it complete so well done you are ready so that's exactly how easy it is for you to add a new website your hosting account uh, most times uh, it's just easy for you to just go to your website directly but for me i like to go to my control panel first for me to see that my ssl was installed correctly sometimes you get error uh, in this case i might because i deleted this website from my account not long ago so the former ssl may still be propagating so once we are here i can just easily come down to security and come down to ssl for me to check that as you can see it just got installed ssl installed and that's it once this is done i can then view my i come back to dashboard and then i'll see a link here for me to check my website so if i click this it will open up my website for me and that's it i have a freshly installed website on my hosting account this is super simple super easy so if you come back here if you want to go to the dashboard you can come to edit website and this would create a secured link directly to your wordpress dashboard as you can see here i'm already in my dashboard and that's it this is how super easy it is so you can install anything any plugin you want to install on your new website and that's my time for this video if you find this video extremely useful as usual give me a thumbs up uh, let me know if you have any issues in the comment i will look out for your i will look out for the comment section and above all subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos from me i'll be spending time to create more videos around hostinger walking you through everything inside hostinger so if you have an hostinger account or you are investing in an hostinger account or you want to master hostinger you are a newbie you are just learning this thing you want to stay subscribed to this channel because i will be a plug I'll be that guy that would help you around hosting that. And that's my time for this video. I'll see you in another video. And until then, have a nice time.